This is a video that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. This is, this is two sauces, one very new sauce, and one sauce that I've had for a while that I haven't had a chance to uh, get on the channel, I believe. So this is Rising Smoke, and this is It Hot Sauce, and this is Buenos Nachos Hot Sauce. And I am very excited about this one in particular. So this is a brand new sauce. We're gonna get to it a second. Brand new sauce, It. Something I love about Rising Smoke is they smokes all those peppers. Uh, if you've been, if you've seen in past videos, I always, I kind, I've mentioned the fact that I don't like sauces that have a smokiness to them that are unnatural, like liquid smoke, those kind of things. I, t I tend to kind of lean away from sauce. Well, I t when I have a sauce that has like liquid smoke or or, or nat smoke, natural smoke flavoring or something in that, I, I kind of, I always go and I wish that they would have made the sauce from smoking the ingredients in it. Um, whether it be using ghost peppers, or which have a smoky quality to them, or actually smoking the peppers that are in them. And that is what Rising Smokes does. Rising Smoke smokes their peppers in all of their sauces, and I absolutely love that because they have this amazing smoky flavor to them, and it's so freaking good. Anyways, Buenos Nachos hot sauce, this is where we're starting. When it comes to peppers, we believe you should smoke them if you got them. But if you don't, well that's cool too. Uh, we've developed many different tasty and delightful ways to punish and please your tongue. Find your favorite flavor and start to savor. Um, Alright, this mild heat, full flavored blend turns any meal into a fiesta. We tried several ingredients before arriving at the perfect traditional Mexican pepper combination. I'm so excited. Uh, the result is nacho average taco sauce. That is a funny pun you got there, Mike. Mike's the owner. Uh, they're saying this is a low, he's saying this, this is a low and slow burn on their heat scale. So this is going to be more on the full flavor side. side. Uh, where are you ingredients? Ingredients are water, vinegar, fire roasted jalapeno peppers, tomatoes, chipotle peppers, onion, roasted red pepper, garlic spices, salt, garlic powder, lime juice, onion powder, cayenne pepper. So pretty straightforward ingredients for a taco sauce. Man, do I need to sharpen that knife. Um, but the addition, the smoked jalapenos, oh, I'm so excited. This should be absolutely delicious. So with all the sauces generally, you're just gonna get that huge, just smoky wonderfulness right off the bat. Sure is. Ooh, man. Did you say chipotle? Chipotle peppers, there we go. Doubling down on those smoky vibes. Man, smells delicious, very savory. Tomatoes, garlic, roasty, smoky things going on. Medium bodied sauce, pours great. Lots going on in it. You can see tons of stuff floating in it from skins to little black flecks of pepper to um, tomato skins even maybe or chipotle skins. Tons going on with it. Cheers. Wow. Smoky taco sauce goodness. Unbelievably mild. I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10 on my scale. Um, it's one of the sauces that has like the flavor of heat rather than heat almost, um, but just jam packed with flavor. Absolutely beautiful. Um, this is definitely one of the like absolutely tippy top best taco sauces I've ever had in my life. Just absolutely delicious with that like smoky quality that comes over top of it. Um, you get savoriness, smoky blend of all those different spices. Little bit of a hit of the vinegar, but it's super, super muted, super like delicately placed in the ingredient list. Just wonderful, fresh tasting sauce. Bright, bright is a word that I want to use with this. Bright and set, and yet smoky simultaneously because those are kind of like conflicting uh, flavor profiles, generally speaking. Good job, Mike. Okay, this one. Super excited. This should be just a absolutely just full flavored killer of a table sauce. So it, and I love how, okay, on his labels, he generally speaking, he puts little things that he wants you to like, kind of what they want you to think about. So it, he's got cayenne peppers and he's got garlic. I bet you those ingredients are in the forefront there. Jalapenos, buenos nachos. So we're talking about ta like taco vibes, you know, going on there. He, he's very literal with like what he puts on the front of the labels. So it, hot sauce. You've dreamt of it. You've craved it. You need it. It will amaze you. The zesty combo of cayenne and garlic, there you go, is good with everything. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Whatever you're eating, drizzle it, drizzle it, dip 
him, dip him in it. I hope I'm not going to get through this, all these puns, or drown him in it. Uh, low and slow burn is what he's putting on it. That's what he's saying the heat scale of this is. It's definitely going to be on the, the flavor side. Um, the color of this sauce is great. Very vibrant. Ingredients. Vinegar. Cayenne pepper mash, which is cayenne peppers and vinegar. Roasted red pepper mash, which is roasted red pepper and vinegar. Garlic, salt, cayenne pepper, garlic powder. So, doubling down on the cayenne, on the uh, doubling down on the on the cayenne, cayenne, and the garlic. So this is going to be a cayenne garlicky vinegar. Have I mentioned yet that I need to sharpen my knife? Because I do. My God, Brian. And like, oh my God, it pours almost like a thin pepper mash. It looks like it's going to. Whoa, garlic. It's so garlicky, it almost smells creamy. Hmm. Very excited. Poor, it's, this is a thicker bodied sauce. Medium, but still, like, it's got a lot going on. Hmm. Oh, don't waste a drop. So much happening in here. There's two different mashes in here, you know, so there's just so much going on. From garlic to skins to the uh, the pulp and placenta from the peppers going on in here, just spices, so much happening. All right, cheers, people. Could not be more excited. Oh my god! I could drink this entire bottle of sauce. So good. This is so good. Um, I'm getting so I'm getting less smoke from this bottle. I'm just making this realization. I'm getting less smoke, and it might be because this is so smoky. Um, I'm not sure if anything in here is smoked. If there is anything smoked, it might be the like the. I mean, there's roasted red peppers that are in that are in here. So it's got like that roasted kind of quality to it. Um, but man, okay, massive garlic and cayenne bomb. Oh. Uh, so unbelievable to just punch you in the face with flavor. Again, just like the first one, unbelievably mild. Um, the, uh, it's a one out of ten on the heat scale. This has got like the like the the flavor of uh, of heat almost. Uh, we're talking cayenne fl or we're talking cayenne level heat here. So very very approachable. This is the perfect table sauce. Absolutely perfect. I can see this going on a wide variety of things. Um, this is going to go on your breakfast sandwiches. This is going to go on your eggs, your omelets. Um, you can, you know, you're doing biscuits and gravy. You're going that route. You're going egg sandwiches. You're going anything on that side. Um, I mean, this is working with Italian food. You know, we got the super garlic bomb. You're adding this to sauces to kind of give, like, to elevate um, a little bit of flavor going on there. You're putting this on burgers. You're putting this on sandwiches. You're putting this on everything. Wonder, 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 wonderful sauce. Just so impressed. Absolutely delicious. Okay. Two amazing sauces from Rising Smoke. Could not be more stoked on these. Uh, in the description below, as always, will be a link to Rising Smoke's website if you want to check them out. Um, and I hope you do. Big fan of this company. Uh, really like what they're doing over there. Uh, regardless, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.